H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Fine. Like this, Salesforce got huge demand. Why only Salesforce? Is there any other software? So, uh, sorry, any other applications are there? Yes, there are many applications like AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google CRM, IBM CRM. So many CRMs are there. But only Salesforce got this much of boom. Why? Because of the functionalities it has provided in this particular application. The functionalities, the business functionalities Salesforce is providing in the application are much higher than the remaining applications which are developed outside market. Okay, that's why Salesforce got huge demand. Now also you can see Salesforce every year three releases Salesforce is providing. Per year three releases. Just think of it. In peak or in peak days of Java also. Okay, in Java timings, when it is very peak. Java is to release only one release per one year, but Salesforce is doing three releases per one year. That means just think of it, how much of new new technologies or new new functionality Salesforce is providing. So the market is very good because of that. And Salesforce is releasing so much new 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 things every day. Every release they are providing some new thing. Okay, they are introducing some new thing. So that's why the market is very good in the outside market. And why this revolution has been came in the starting days, uh, what we have to do? We have a business. I want to track my business. How I am tracking in my starting days? I used to do uh, write all those things in my books. Correct. After that, a new revolution has been came. What is that one? Everyone has started using the Excel to track the data. Correct. After that, another new revolution has been came. That is called databases. Everyone started tracking the uh, business uh, model or business uh, back data, all those things in the databases. After that, SAP came. Now the revelation is cloud computing. Okay. In cloud computing, Salesforce is top in all the CRMs. Okay. What is CRM? Customer relationship. management this is most important thing salesforce is a crm yes salesforce is a crm what it will do it will make the relationship between customer and client so whatever the things which are required to maintain this relationship all those things are available inside the salesforce okay like example instagram what we will use we will upload the pictures or videos we'll share the reels all those things right it will be used like this in Facebook also near by same. Okay. In Gmail, we will send the emails or sending an attachments. That is the purpose of Gmail. In Salesforce, what is the purpose? To build a business model. In Salesforce, what we will do? We will build a business model. What business model you are saying? Okay. You are saying business model. What is the meaning of it? Example, uh, I have an interior company. Okay. Just think of it. I have some interior company. What is my business model? Interior company requires customers. Okay. First and foremost thing, what, we, what my business model is doing is first I have to uh, bring all the raw materials which are required for my business and I need salespersons, I need call center persons, correct? I need designers, I need the persons who will work on the field directly, correct? So these people I want. So I bought all, everything that is first and foremost thing criteria for my business model. Next what? I need customer data. Once the customer has been came, I want to introduce my designs to him, him or her. Okay. Then customer will provide that design floor plan. Once the floor plan has been came, I will see the designs, what other customer is required and I will see the floor plan and then I will suggest them. This is the way, this is the way uh, we can able to build it. If the customer is okay, we have to provide the quotation firstly. If the customer likes the design, then we'll provide the quotation. If the customer likes the quotation, then customer will pay 5%. Then after that, once, once the work has been started, the customer will pay another 20%.
like this like this the payment has been done in installments and once the 100 percent payment has been completed some time will be there in the, within the time we will complete our work like 45 days or 90 days the work will be completed and the customer will see the product uh, final product and the customer is satisfied provides the feedback this is my business business model from starting to end for an interior company this is my business model customer is satisfied provides the feedback that is the final thing okay in the me in the meanwhile so many things will be there will be there because the lead will come from outside lead means the customer come from outside some other mediator will provide this customer information so we have to provide some commission for them so everything will be there. everything will be tracked inside the sales force everything can be maintained inside the sales force that is the meaning of crm customer relationship management we are providing some relationship between the customers and the managements okay that part we are going to build inside the sales force for that Salesforce is providing so much of functionalities inside the Salesforce. Okay. Salesforce company is building so much functionalities to maintain that relationship. Okay. Because of that market, Salesforce is very good. Okay. Because it has so many features when you're paying money. Example, like just think that um, for Salesforce license, you need to pay some $200. Okay. $200 per license. For same $200, you will get Amazon to AWS. Two licenses okay but salesforce only one license but salesforce contains full 100 percent functionalities but aws won't contains 100 percent functionalities that's why salesforce got huge demand even it is costly but the functionalities are more so that's why everyone likes the salesforce the most so that's why you can see recently air india also has been tied up with salesforce a recent article has been published in last month air, air india also talking with salesforce and Air India, each and every software will be maintained by Salesforce. Okay, in the upcoming days. So that's why Salesforce is uh, going in each and every uh, business models. Okay, it is, it is diving into each and every business models. It is building new, new clouds. Then what's the meaning of this? Uh, how, how, can, how can Salesforce understand uh, mold with each and every business? You are saying that it is going to each and every business. How it is molding? Salesforce, what it is doing now? It is developing new, new clouds. Salesforce for every business, some different clouds will be there. Okay, streams. So for Air India also, they're building a new clouds. So all the, so there are so many clouds in Salesforce like sales cloud, okay. Service cloud, marketing cloud, okay. Manufacturing cloud, this is a new one, okay. Manufacturing cloud, health cloud, at, at the time of Corona, this cloud has been built. Okay, health cloud, mm, commerce cloud, very, very, very powerful cloud. Okay, financial cloud, this will, this will be helpful for the banking the related projects. Okay, FSL functionalities, CPQs, so many are there. Okay, so many clouds will be there, Salesforce has developed. Okay. The market is very, very high at the time. Okay, at the time of Corona, this cloud has been purchased by so many companies, especially insurance companies. Okay, that's it. Salesforce is uh, releasing new, new clouds. When they are you know, diving into new uh, business models, they are uh, developing new, new clouds. So that's why Salesforce has huge market because it is providing so many criteria, so many functionalities, so many new, new functionalities. Very, very minute changes, but it's a new functionality because you are doing a minute change. Even if it's minute change also, the functionality is different. The business model is different. That's why it's a new product. Salesforce is doing, I told you, right? Salesforce is doing three releases per year. So that just think that now only three releases they are doing means how many releases they are already have. Already they have in mind. The business is very, very good in the outside market for Salesforce. That's why everyone is learning Salesforce in Salesforce. This is the use of Salesforce. This is the functionalities we will go to learn in Salesforce. That's why Salesforce market is very good than compares to remaining markets. Okay. Then in Salesforce, what are the things we want to learn? I don't know at least a single name in Salesforce. Okay. Then how it learn? Compulsorily, we have to remember some names. What are those? Okay. In Salesforce, there are total five models in this 
administration module is first and foremost thing we have to compulsory learn okay administration module purely front end work okay no coding purely front end work no more coding next apex development coding work okay little in front end so this is apex development bare minimum if you want to become a developer okay if you want to become a developer if you want to start your journey in a developing part bare minimum these two is compulsory to learn okay these two are compulsory everyone will learn administration apex development these two everyone will compulsory learn if they want to become a architect uh, i mean they, if they want to start their journey in the developing part okay they want to advance if they want to advance them in the developing parts they will learn aura lwc okay this should they will learn it what is this two these two also coding parts okay this is also coding part whoever wants to advance them okay these two are coding part salesforce has some roles i mean if you want to start your career if you want to go in your career salesforce has some two three different paths what is salesforce architect path you have to know it architect path salesforce consultant path and salesforce ba for architect path only development works will be there that means technology technology path okay is technology path but consultant path if you know admin a little bit of development okay little bit of dev is pretty much enough to become a consultant by becoming a consultant if you know admin a little bit of dev also is pretty much enough to become a consultant what he will what we will have here we will become a functional consultants okay functional consultants i don't know how many people heard this word functional consultants we will become functional consultants here the roles will be like this functional consultants okay class ba purely about the business functions business talks direct talks with the clients okay making the business models okay all those things here we will do okay this is sales force ba only ba people okay so these are the different different parts so which one you want to be you have to think now only okay some people will like to go for consultants they will learn admin and a little bit of development okay and they will become the functional consultants architect means purely development ma purely development you have to learn every development everything everything in the set of salesforce i you have to be know everything inside the salesforce then i will become architect salesforce consultant if i know it been very much very much perfect and i know the functionalities of dev developments also okay i don't i don't i don't want to be very uh, full full much pro in apex development but if i know the functionalities that is pretty much fine and i can become a functional consultant what this functional consultant will do okay they will build the function okay in the high level they will say that okay uh, for this function at the custom, what the ba will come ba will come and say to the functional consultant okay this is the way this is the way customer is asking if customer is asking this one you have to build a business model then the functional consultant will build the model okay uh, okay as per the customer requirement i will build this i will build this i will build this this is the way it will work when the functional consultant will finalize that the functional consultant will talk with the architect 
architect and functional consultant both will sit together and they will build this business model and the functional consultant will going to be present that one to the client if client is satisfied the work will start so this is the this is the everyone is combinedly working then the product will start okay product will launch product will start everything if everyone will work combinedly but this is the different ways if you want to choose your path if you want to become a consultant if you want to become an architect if you want to become a ba that is purely up to your choice but if you want to become like this you have to know these 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 things okay got it so you have to know for uh, ba salesforce ba you have to know about salesforce compulsory you don't want to become a pro but salesforce knowledge because when customer is asking whether this can be possible in, in salesforce then you have to say yes you have to, it is possible when you know if you know the salesforce then you can okay that's why ba if ba knows a, a little bit knowledge about salesforce they can able to talk it with confidently because they know whether it is possible or not whether this can be possible or not so they can see easily okay so these things these are the levels or roles you are going to be seen in your further careers when you start the salesforce career okay when you start a salesforce career these are the things you are going to be seen in your careers which one is very good just think about it and go for that okay once you start don't stop anywhere once you start your career the best session i can give it once you start your career fight for it whatever the whatever it will take fight for it don't live in the middle okay so these are the things we are going to learn this is about the admin the first one we are going to learn inside the salesforce okay it's purely front end work no need of doing any kind of codings okay admin works so before starting explaining about the admin if anybody have any questions you guys can ask me you guys can talk uh, in my class no need of restricting anything if you want any questions you can talk in the middle of the class also i don't have any problem hi well yes yes hey this is rohan um yes. i i I, jo i joined late so can i have your name <laughs> Uh, uh, I cannot reveal my name as per some. Problems. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, okay. So I mean, um, so, my, uh, so so my my question is so uh, so I've been uh, working um, as a BA. I mean, uh, for um, almost like five to six years now. Um, so if I were to uh, pivot my career to be able to apply for Salesforce, uh, Salesforce mm -hmm. BA, so is. Mm -hmm. um, uh administration certification is is it necessary or uh yes it's a good question it's a good question of asking so i will tell you uh for becoming a ba in salesforce best firstly salesforce knowledge is important and admin certification if you do it it's very good in salesforce some ba for ba also there is some uh, certification i heard didn't remember it but in trial head okay i will show you this is one of the trial head accounts okay trialhead.salesforce.com i will share you all the links for you even if you don't know whether any certification is there or not just open this trialhead.salesforce.com here for bs also every user i will show you just i will uh, share this one in the chat first uh, take this url take this url in the chat everyone not only uh, rohan everyone can take it okay this url is very important man so you can see my screen right so once you log in into salesforce okay once you log in into your trial head accounts you can see these are the roles i told you right you can see so administration architect developer roles sales professionals marketer consultants designer okay here even if you don't know what are the certifications which are available in salesforce you can able to see it here you can see for administrator these are the certifications you have to do it okay for develop for architect if you click on architect you can see for architect also some certifications are there you can see even if you don't know what are the certifications you can able to see it here
ओके कंसल्टेंट्स ओके सो यस एज पर रोहन क्वेश्चन यस रोहन सेल्स फोर्स बेर मिनिमम बेसिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज द सर्टिफिकेशन एवरी वन विल डू इट ओके एडमिन सर्टिफिकेशन इज द बेर मिनिमम सर्टिफिकेशन इन सेल्स फोर्स एवरी वन विल डू इट इफ यू हैव दैट एडमिन सर्टिफिकेशन दैट इज वेल एंड गुड आई कैन सजेस्ट if you have cloud certification one one cloud certification at least it will be very good like sales cloud i'll show you mm. well uh, if you can see it here yeah you can see sales cloud consultant if you have this certification that is uh, far more good for you okay this it's far more good when you have sales sales cloud consultant certification because why why i'm saying sales cloud only particularly because out of all the clouds which salesforce have sales cloud is the most popular cloud in salesforce okay in salesforce sales cloud is the most popular one and most flooded one that means max or max every each and every company will purchase the sales cloud because this is the bare minimum cloud bare minimum functionality every functionality will be available in the sales cloud every company obviously every company will do the sales only sales functionality compulsory that's why everyone every company will purchase the sales cloud license that's why this is the bare minimum certification i suggest you to do this one also for a ba so it will be very uh, it will it will add advantage for your uh, career and as well your resume also it will uh, bring a weightage for your resume so if you have sales cloud consultant also because uh, they they will uh, believe you uh, you have you have known each and every uh, in and out of uh, sales cloud so it will be very added advantage for you to start your career or to improve your career in sales force okay. thank you as i told you right so trial head just create your own logins i will show you how to create the logins and here the as i told you the credentials you can see the heading, heading credentials click on certifications you will land into this page here you can see the different roles which salesforce is providing so based upon that you can able to choose the certifications first and foremost thing what is the bare minimum thing i have to do when i came to salesforce salesforce what doing the first and foremost step is salesforce is providing free developer edition orgs okay how the salesforce will look like i will show you okay salesforce is providing free developer edition orgs free developer edition orgs what are those as a developer or as a newcomer as a fresher i want to learn the salesforce i want to um, explore salesforce i want to know how the salesforce is look like i want to know how the ui will look like i want to know the functionalities i want to learn the things on my own i want to practice my things on my own how to do it okay in previous days if you want to learn something we have to go to particular uh, place and uh, we have to learn it but no not like that because salesforce is anywhere in the world anywhere i can able to use it like that salesforce is also providing a free developer edition org one org it is providing for everyone whoever have the email gmail okay whoever have the gmail or hot uh, hotmail or yahoo whatever it is you have okay if you have some email just provide the data you can able to create your own personal developer edition org okay how to create that one salesforce most important url is developer dot okay developer dot salesforce dot com most important url developer dot salesforce dot com developer dot salesforce dot com remember this one don't forget it okay developer dot salesforce dot com once you uh, came to this uh, url okay first let me show okay once you came to this url in the right side you can see browse trials you can see a word called browse trials click on it so i will share this url with you okay take this url i'm sharing this uh, url in the chat oh mm -hmm. The first and foremost certification uh, you have to take is administration only. Okay, 
okay not the BE certifications yes I will share the recordings with you don't worry so you can see once you click on the browse trails you will land in this page just go a little bit down you can see sign up for a salesforce developer edition org okay even if you don't know what is the salesforce developer edition org you can see in the right side it's a full featured salesforce edition for developers okay get access for the lightning experience apex apex developments and apis extend salesforce integrate with any other powerful api tools and develop the new tools and applications gain access to many of the feature available in the salesforce enterprise editions okay so this is developer edition a free org everyone can able to create their own free org click on it now you can see it is asking your personal information please provide your personal information don't worry about the company name please provide what the company name you like it if you want to put the salesforce right directly write the salesforce no problem because it is your personal or you are creating so whatever you want to write it you can write it okay but the only thing you have to compulsory be cautious is username okay what are the username you are going to write here please be aware of it okay okay just think that if uh, uh, so many people are there right so um, yes if uma is there uma at the rate of salesforce.com that is the username uma will write it don't forget that username whatever the username you are going to be right here uma at the rate of salesforce.com prakash at the rate of uh, uh, salesforce.com what are the name you are giving here in the username don't ever forget it because because of that username only you are going to be lo uh, logging into salesforce from tomorrow okay after creating the org from that username only you are going to be logging so don't ever forget that username once you provide all the details click on sign me up what it will do after five minutes to ten minutes you will get an email okay below 10 minutes you will get an email that email contains one link okay click on that link the page will redirect you to the password page it will ask you to create your own password please provide your own password okay and save it once you save it which page you are going to be land okay okay once i have saved it which page I was going to be land. I will show you the page. In which page you are going to be land. Once you provide your password and click on save or submit something, you will land into this page. This is the setup page. This is the Salesforce setup. Who can able to see this page? Only administrators. That means whoever have the admin access whoever have the admin access those people are able to see the setup page in the real time in the real time means in the real time when the company is purchasing the salesforce license this is free license right that is paid license if company is purchasing the paid license this page can be seen by only administrators whoever have the admin access those people only can able to see this page no other people can able to see this page this is setup page, most powerful page in Salesforce. The most powerful page in Salesforce. Okay, this is the most powerful page in Salesforce. Not everyone can able to access. Okay, not everyone can able to access this page. Only whoever have the admin access, they, those people only can able to access this page because it is it is paid license. There it is, paid license. No one can able to access. This is free license. That's why we can able to see this page. Okay. What are the functionalities we are going to be building in Salesforce? Everything is available here. The most powerful search you can see here. Quick find. The most used, most powerful. Okay. You can see the right, left side, right? The most used and most powerful search button this one. Okay. So most used and most powerful. Okay. All right. So this is the most used and this one also, this is called global search. This is also most used. Okay. I want you guys to explore all the functionalities. You can see if I go down, users are there, click on it. There are so many options. Open each and everything. Okay. Example, if I'm clicking permission set, 
I open the permission set, I can see some English. Learn this English. Okay, sometimes some beautiful English will be there to understand about these profiles or permission sets. What are the things we have? So I want you guys to go through it. You can see what is this profiles? What I can do? You create a new profile. What other thing you want to do? It explore it. Okay. If you want to, do, if you want to, do, if you have uh, done a wrong thing, no problem. Do it. If you want to create a new one, create a new separate org. You can able to create your own separate org until and unless you have so many uh, mails. Example: I have some. Uh, I have one Hotmail. I have one. Uh, uh, Gmail, I have two Gmails, I have one Hotmail, okay, I have so many. So I can able to create three separate docs, correct? Three different developer docs on my own. So how many Gmails or how many mails you have, based upon that you can able to create new new docs, no problem at all. In this org, if you are done uh, something wrong, it is not working fine, create some, some other thing, no problem. Create another org, that is not a problem, okay? So I want you guys to just explore all the things. No need of by hiding anything, just explore it. Okay, that is pretty much enough. Salesforce setup page, the most powerful use and most used page. Okay, most used page is Salesforce setup page. Salesforce setup page. Clear, right? So this is the Salesforce page which we are going to be seeing from the upcoming classes. From the upcoming classes, we are going to be see this page only. Okay, Salesforce setup page. This page we will see most, 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 most of the times. Maximum, if one hour is there, in the one hour, maximum, maximum 40 to 50 minutes, we will stay in this page only. Okay, from the setup page only, we will go anywhere. Anywhere, any page, if you want to open, from setup page only, we will go. So, max of the max functionalities will be available in this setup page only. Okay. In further days, we are going to learn about this sharing settings. You can see I'm typing all the things. We will learn about uh, profiles. You can see. Okay. We will learn about permission sets. Okay. We will learn about the roles. Okay. We will learn about flows. So all those things are available in the quick find box only. Okay. You can type everything. Everything can be shown here. It will filter all those things. What are the thing you have typed it? It will filter on the below things only. So everything is available in the below only. So just go and explore the sales force. First and foremost thing, the fear, ha fear has to go from your mind. When the fear will go? If I see the same page again and again, again and again, I don't get fear. If I see the page for the first time, oh, you have this many is there. There are so many things I have to explore. But if I see the same page again, 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 oh, these things only, I know it. I know it how to open. The confidence you will get it when, if you open the page daily, daily. That is the real time experience. Everyone will say, I, if, uh, if you want to survive in Salesforce, you have to get the real time experience. What is real time experience? The real time experience is that person is opening the Salesforce page again and again for so many years. That's why that person got that much experience. So many times they are opening the functionalities. They so many times they are opening this uh, example just profiles. I am opening this profiles page from so many years. That's why I know how the page will look like, how to create the profile, what are the things which are available inside the profile. Because I have seen this page for many, many years. That's why I know it. That's the real time experience. When you will get the real time experiences, if you see the page every daily, 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 if you see all the functionalities daily, definitely you will remember. It's not a hard thing to get a real time experience in the front end works. Okay. In the coding part, yes. The more you practice, the more you will get the real time experience. Okay. But in the front end, the more you will see the functionalities, the more you will explore the functionalities daily, daily, the more you will remember. The more you will remember, the more you will get the real time experience. Okay. Real time experience is not a rocket science. This one only real time experience means. Daily, if you see the space for so many hours, definitely you will remember each and everything. What are the functionalities we have? Okay, it's not a rocket science. You can easily learn it. We can easily uh, gain the real time experience what other people is gaining. Okay, the only thing is hard work. My suggestion is hard work. The only thing is hard work only. I can say. Okay, fine. If anybody have any questions, you guys can freely ask me. I don't have any problem. 
this class is for you so you can ask each and every what are the queries you have you can ask each and everything oh some messages let me see it in the meanwhile one quick question okay yeah, yes yes I uh, just want to understand is FSL is also a module like sales service or FSL is uh, part of no, no. Like FSL is uh, FSL is an add-on okay it's an add-on uh, functionality if you want to if you want to use that then we can able to then uh, the company will purchase that particular uh, extra license of FSL then only they can use it okay in this or we cannot see the FSL right or we can uh, no. we cannot see it in the free on FSL is a paid version no one can use it in the outset. It's mm -hmm. not available okay. for versions. Uh, you have to purchase it. Okay. If you are, if you are that, if you have interest to learn this FSL, I am not getting this free version. Then how can I learn it? I'll show you. Trailhead. I told you, I showed you right. Trailhead is a mm -hmm. place where you can. Here, yeah, in the Trailhead we can see that. Okay. Yes, in the Trailhead you can able to search it. Type the FSL. Okay. At least you can learn the theoretical knowledge. Okay, so it's an extended version of Service Cloud, right? No, uh, FSL is purely different. No? Field Service Lightning. Okay, it's not if it, then the name service is there. That's yeah, why it's okay. not extended. Mm -hmm. Field Service means what? Um, I told you right. I have an interior company. In the example in the interior company, I have some field workers, direct field workers. Okay, what they will do? I will say, I will tell them the in Bangalore there are two places. Okay, I will tell place one, place two to him. Okay, I will tell him in the morning hours, just go at morning seven o'clock, work for till two o'clock in one place one. Then from place one to place two, the journey is one and a half hour. Take one and a half hour time, uh, take two hours of time, one and a half hour for journey and 30 minutes for lunch. Okay, after that, after two from two o'clock to evening seven o'clock, work uh, the place two. All this, how we can be able to track by using field, field service lighting, we can able to track all those things. I told you right salesforce okay. is a relationship management it will it has so many features it will uh, what we can say it will store each and every small small things also this very small thing right we can able to do it in the words of chat also but salesforce is storing this one also just think of it how much depth salesforce is thinking about the relationships between the customer and managements that's why salesforce stops the list in the outside market theorems salesforce stop the list because of this only because they are making the functionalities for each and every small, small, minute things also. Okay, that is that is FSL. It's it's not just uh, if you see the service name, it's not extended version. It's a, a little bit different one. Okay, got it. Thank you.